hello everyone welcome to my channel let's solve this question together now look at what you are given you're given that m raised to the power m raised to the power what four you can see this is m raised to the power four that means you're given that m raised to the power what m to the power what four equals to what 60 what four we are asked to find the value of m not s okay we are asked to find the value of what m okay that m is equals to what now this question is very simple as a b c d now our first step what we're going to do is to consider the word power the power here is what is m to the power word four now look at one of the interesting things we are going to do here we are not wrong if we say that let let what let the power which is m raised to the power word four equals to any variable equals to what q okay now we're going to make m the subject of the formula for us to make m the subject of the formula we have to take what the q root of both sides okay why are we taking q root of both sides so that we can remove this four that is as an exponent here so if we take the q root of what m to the power of what four okay equals to the, the q root of what sorry the fourth root not q root this is fourth root not q root look at q root here so this is fourth root sorry for that please the fourth root of both sides okay fourth root of all q okay so that this will cancel this fourth root cancel out this power this here so now see that our m is equals to the fourth root of what the fourth root of what q wow this is interesting this is beautiful okay now we can see that our m is equal to the fourth root of q okay now let's go back to our question our question says that m to the power of m raised to the power of 4 is equal to 64. now we can see that our m here is q root of 4 in place of m here we're going to put what q, uh, fourth root of q okay now look at m we are seeing here so we can see that m is what uh, fourth root of q so look at this m we are seeing you can put this fourth root of q at this m as into the fourth root of what the fourth root of what q okay is this m you are seeing then the other one which is m raised to the power of four remember that you say let m raised to the power of four so equals to q so let here is just what q you can see equals to what 60 what four wow this is amazing now let's obey one of the properties of indices we are not wrong if we decide to write the fourth root of q as into q raised to the power of what one over four or raised to the power of what q equals to what 60 what four we are not wrong if we decide to write fourth root of q as q raised to the power of one over what four as one of the properties of indices okay now i can see that the index inside the parenthesis can multiply the index outside the parenthesis this is outside the parenthesis right i'm going to add this is what into q raised to the power of what q divided by what four okay because one times q is q divided by what four remember that the denominator here is one so four times one is four and one times q is q equals to what 60 what four wow so that means this is what q raised to the power what q okay divided by four equals to what 60 what four what are we going to do here now consider the denominator of this exponent here is four that is the denominator so what, what are we going to do so remove this denominator from here we are going to multiply both sides by four because if we multiply both sides by four this four this denominator will go out okay so i'm going to say that this is what into q raised to the power what q divided by four multiplied by what four equals to into 64 multiplied by what 4 because multiply both power by what by 4 consider this will cancel out what this now see that q raised to the power of q is equals to what into 64 raised to the power of what 4 from here we can take we can decide to take the link of both sides or log of both sides okay but we are not going to stress ourselves okay based on the based on the erudition we have towards problem like this we can do something very smart okay now we are not wrong remember that a 64 the index one simply means uh, uh what simply means uh 8 raised to the power of 2 because 8 times 8 is 64 okay and also know that that 2 raised to the power of 6 is sensing as well 64 because 2 multiplied is set into 6 places is 64 but why are we not using 6 the reason why we are using this way we are not using 2 response is because we want this because remember we are having q raised to the power of q we want this what is our left hand side what is our right hand side equals what is our right hand side because here we are having the base here as q so the base here must be in a, a number raised to the power of that same number because you can see that q is raised to the power of that same q so we must make that number be raised to the power of that same number that can give us what we're looking for okay now look at what we're going to do now we're going to add this is q raised to the power of q equals to what into if we use 6 raised to the power of 2 raised to the power of 6 now let me tell you why if you use 6 raised, uh, 2 raised to the power of 6 2 raised to the power of, power of 6 is 64 and 2 times 6 times uh, 4 6 times 4 you can say it's greater than the base okay and the base here is q and the power here is q and the power and the the power here will be is greater than the base 
and they are not equal. That's why we are not using these two because you know that since because some people want to ask us why don't you use two raised to the power of six to represent 64? The reason why we are not using it because the base here is Q and the base here is what two. And if you multiply this, we are not going to have 24. And 24 is greater than 2. I can see that this and uh, the base and the power here are equal. So we are not going to use what 2 raised to the power of what 6. But know that 2 raised to the power of 6 is 64. What if we use 8 raised to the power of what 2? Now 8 raised to the power of 2 is 64. But the power here, if you multiply 2 times 4, we give us 8. You can see that they are equal. So that means Q raised to the power of Q is equal to what? 8 raised to the power of what? 8. Because 2 times 4 is what? 8. This is amazing. You can see that since the base here is base here is q and the base here is 8 the power here is q the power here is 8 we can say that q is equal to what 8 okay by, by looking at this you see that q is equal to 8 this is beautiful my dear now let's recall let's recall that from here that our m recall okay recall that recall that our m is equal to the fourth root of what fourth root of what uh, q you can see from here that means for us to have m just to substitute it in place of q you are getting your m that means m will be equals to the fourth root of what eight and this is the solution to this problem can you see how simple and interesting it is so please if you find it very interesting don't hesitate do it to like comment and so share to the loved ones or others who learn from it. so please if you're not subscribed consider to subscribe to this channel so anytime later exciting video you notice fine so thank you so much and god bless you Bye bye